American shenanigans. <laughs> G'day folks, day two of MDF. <laughs> Somehow survived last night and feeling pretty good actually, not too bad. So uh, yeah, about to head down, first band I want to see is Obliteration, it's starting in about half an hour so cruise down, have a grand time and uh, yeah, probably a couple of beers. Most of today is at Ramshead really for me because there's Obliteration and Zamile and I think I'll be nicking quickly over to Soundstage for two mold. But uh, them and like Carnivore AD who I'm curious about. <laughs> I don't know how they're going to go post Pete Steele, but I'll, uh, I'll probably check them out at some point. So yeah, after two mold, back for Disharmonic Orchestra, and then an Arl Nathrak, who should be interesting. I'm curious as to how that's going to sound live. They're sort of a really messy but complex sounding band, so it could be absolute dog shit, but hopefully it's all right. <laughs> Seeing as I saw Nagelfar the other night, and they were uh, all right. <laughs> Not amazing, I don't really need to watch it again, so... I gotta go watch a bit of Full of Hell and then Indian and then I'll be back for Immolation who unfortunately Vomitori didn't get in the country because they played in Canada which is a no-no. I mean I was talking to some friends from Baltimore who had hassles getting back in over the border from going to Canada which is odd seeing they're American citizens but no one. <laughs> I, shouldn't, I shouldn't hassle the border patrol people seeing that I still have to fly a few times in America but no one. So yeah, Immolation, again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fun by me. So after Immolation is Pestilence, who, as I've said in previous videos, eh, I don't have my hopes up at all. It could be good, but yeah, I'll hopefully be pleasantly surprised. But if they're crap, I'll go watch Carnivore AD. And then my, make my way back for Tormentor, who are closing the night at Ramshead. Yeah, I'm not super familiar with Tormentor, but it's, uh, what's his name, Attila from Mayhem era. So, yeah, should be fun. And uh, I th I'm sure they'll put a show on at any rate. So, yeah, uh, long day ahead, but not as long as tomorrow. <laughs> oh, shit. You go first. I'm really too old. Oh, you go first. I'll cover you. Uh, merch, we'll see. I did actually buy two shirts yesterday, not one for myself. But, oh, I forgot the Church of Misery, stylish John Wayne Gacy one. You can resist a serial killer on a t-shirt, really. So yeah, I've had a bit to eat. Nice relaxing morning without going shopping and the like. And so now, it's off. Time for some meta. Day two of MDF, baby. Enjoy it. Let's go for a quick cruise. 
Så er det med så meget. Det er det, det er det, det
replacement footage for what I should have shot last night, but I kind of didn't get back until about 5 a.m. because we had a beer tasting festival upstairs. I'll post a picture of it now because yeah, it doesn't look like a huge amount, but there was only about five of us, so <laughs> we did all right. Um, thankfully, I didn't go too berserk during the day on the beers, so yeah, I think there might be another one tonight, so yeah, anyway. So this is a recap of day two. First band I saw was Obliteration, who I'd seen before in like 2010 or somewhere around there, and they were bloody awesome, you know, slight uh, autopsy ripoff, but uh, oh, I enjoyed that. This time there are, yeah, they've found their own sound, which is not fully autopsy, but yeah, they were good, but yeah, not super amazing. Next up, uh, I did see a bit of um, Disassociate, who yeah, wasn't too bad, but nothing amazing. Next up was Zamile, that was um, it's a Greek sort of metal band, sort of black metal, I suppose. Um, and yeah, they're, they're not too shabby on CD, but live it was yeah, it wasn't bad actually. But amused, <laughs> the best bit was that they had um, Prescriptor, the drummer and singer from Absu, was the front man. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll try and post some footage because I didn't actually get much of my own, but um, <laughs> it was hilarious. Perhaps where he uses like a headset sort of mic, which looks a bit strange, but yeah, fair enough. He's a rather active drummer, so he can do what he wants. But uh, he also used that live on stage when he wasn't actually drumming. So he uh, had lots of these sort of <laughs> movements and it was a, yeah, a sight to see. It was sort of like a, almost like a, just an interpretive dance. <laughs> interpretive black metal dancer but uh, no no that was, it was good fun though so and yeah they were pretty good huge bloody drum kit far out must have taken a while to set up um after that i scooted over to soundstage and watched Toot mold who pretty bloody good actually it's a sort of old school death metal sort of style and um yeah no they knew what they were doing one of them had a stylish looking bc rich mockingbird which is always a winner in my book and um yeah, nah, nice and heavy. Pretty bloody good, actually. After that, I uh, wandered back over to Ramshead and saw Disharmonic Orchestra, who were... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not quite my thing. <laughs> Never been a giant fan of theirs, but... Yeah, the real early stuff is sort of wacky and kind of not bad, actually, but... For some reason, I thought they were just going to do an old-school set, but no, nah, this had new stuff as well. It was... Yeah, not really my ticket, but... It was still worth seeing, but yeah. <laughs> but I stuck around and watched all of Anal Nafrak, who were pretty bloody good. It was my first time seeing them, and yeah, no, nah, quite enjoyable. They had a couple of ringing, like guitarist and drummer, and the bass player couldn't make it because his mum just died. Sorry, mate. Um, so yeah, no, nah, they were killer, really good. Good screaming vocals, and uh, yeah, he's an energetic stage guy, amusingly asking people to stage dive, which was not going to happen in Ram's Head. <laughs> They're a little strict about that side of things, and as you would have seen from my footage of uh, Church of Misery, they, uh, yeah, <laughs> they don't let people on the stage. Although the one guy actually did manage to get on the stage and was just standing there jumping around like an idiot. So I mean, security pulled him off. He seemed compliant at least, which was probably good for him. Um, but no, nah, they, they killed it. Didn't play, um, uh, what's it? When Humanity is Cancer or whatever, the favourite song of mine off the Codex Necro, but well, I didn't really expect him to, do, to tell the truth. After that, I, uh, <laughs> I piked, I'm getting old. So I came back to the hotel and had a bit of a lie down for a while, which assisted my feet and knees who were uh, feeling it. Unfortunately, during that time, I missed like Full of Hell in Indian, but I think Full of Hell's tour in Australia before, I think, so I'll get to see him eventually. Apparently they were quite good, but yeah, well, tough luck. Uh, I also missed Aguilfire then, but I'd seen them the other night, so yeah. But I made it back in time for Immolation and watched it all from the side, from the comfort of the VIP section. Ooh, shiny! <laughs> well, I forked out for it, I might as well bloody use it. It wasn't super VIP-ish, but no. Oh. So, uh, and yeah, they, they were Immolation, killing it as usual. Still didn't play anything off on Holy Cult, but yeah. Ah, that was great. Oh, into Everlasting Fire, what a bloody song. Yeah. <laughs> um, after that was Pestilence, who I've been sort of like, yeah, expecting them to play like a ton of new stuff and sound kind of crap like they did last time I saw them, but bloody poor. 
Dawson. <laughs> I do admit it because Melly seems like a bit of a tosser online and that stupid bloody hair. Anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, they pretty much played like, I reckon at least five songs of Consuming Impulse and a couple of older ones as well, I think, and you know, one, one or two off Testimony, but uh, maybe there wasn't anything older, but it's definitely mostly Consuming Impulse and so I'm sitting there going, oh, I'll watch a couple of songs and then I'll go watch Carnivore and it's like, ah, oh, damn it, I just kept playing bloody Consuming songs that I love. And he actually sounded pretty good even though he was trying to do the Van Drunen, but not quite succeeding, but... Ah, I was very pleasantly surprised, to tell the truth. Ah, that was that bloody good. And so, yeah, always good to see ah, that main riff out of, out of the body. Ooh, 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 yeah. <laughs> that and uh, process of suffocation was just like far out. Bloody good. So, I pretty much watched the whole Pestilence set and missed, you know, a bit of Carnivore AD, but scooted over to uh, Soundstage thinking, well, I wonder what the hell this is going to be like. Well, this is like Carnivore AD is a band that obviously carnivore dudes, but half of them were dead, the original lineup, including Pete Steele, and so I was really curious as to what they'd have for the Pete Steele replacement, and sure enough, they had a Pete Steele look-alike. Big tall dude with long black hair and big bloody muscles playing bass and singing, and he did a pretty good job actually, I gotta say. Not bad at all, like, he's um, on the bits where he sort of sings nicely, He's no Pete Steele, put it that way, but no, no, he did all right. He needed to be slightly more aggressive. It was a bit nice, I don't know. But um, no, that would kill her. Got to see Sex and Violence and say, God is Dead, heaps of cool songs. So, oh, that was bloody excellent, really good fun. And then the night ended with Tormentor, who played and closed it out at Ram's Head. And um, oh, I shot some cool footage of me walking there and straight into the building, so I'll post that as well. And yeah, two of them were pretty bloody good. I only probably watched about half of them because I was keen for beers, really. <laughs> Tell the truth. So, um, but no, that was killer. It had like Attila and his, you know, they're all like done up in weird makeup and <laughs> he had a cape on for a while. It was, but he sounded pretty bloody good, actually. And yeah, I think they were only playing old stuff. I mean, they don't have much stuff anyway, I think. But it was um, yeah, nice old school, like actual old school black metal. So. And yeah, his vocals sounded great, so no, they were excellent really fun. The crowd seemed to be enjoying it, so. And then, yeah, off we went to the Cloud Club, which is the level above here, which is like above my room, <laughs> which thankfully uh, seems to be well soundproofed because we were making a bit of noise for only five or six of us, so uh, yeah. <laughs> it was fun though, and we had some good beers, so. Ow. Hood mixture this summer night.
You guys might get history for us. Hallelujah! Are you ready for some of your fucking 80s black trash attacks? They don't touch my fucking brain! More than three fucking decades. This rap not it. We are playing on a lot of minutes. Tonight for you. The next one is called Dead. 